welcome back to another edition of YouTube and with Mark at UMB Libraries. Here's a picture of Fredericton this fall, the leaves changing color, the cathedral in the background down by the St. John River. A lot of questions about this one over the last little while, encyclopedias and research handbooks online. So we're going to talk about what they are, where to find some of them, some of the time, and otherwise how to search for others, and how to access electronic book versions, particularly of the research handbooks. And so what are they? Let's start with encyclopedias. Academic encyclopedias are written by scholars and provide topical overviews that often suggest other readings and can be used in a paper and cited versus something like, say, Wikipedia. So in this example, we have Credo Reference, one of our largest and most powerful super encyclopedias for academic research. And if I were to search, for example, for progressive education across 634 reference books, we have 174 results that we can peruse from such sources as the Crystal Reference Encyclopedia, the New Dictionary of Cultural Literacy, Philosophy of Education, etc. The research handbooks tend to be more focused on more manageable topics, like in this case the Sage Handbook of Educational Leadership includes many entries that are written by scholars and what they do is elaborate on the state of research around topics they are interested in and so they cover a lot of ground in one of these volumes and provide overviews at a higher level than you find typically in journal articles which tend to be quite focused and very specific conversations on quite well-defined topics with tight parameters and so you can come to a source like this one to get that topical overview and then to mine the bibliographies at the end of the entries which then provide a launching point for further inquiry into the topics so we can see that we cover such areas as theories of leadership, the micropolitics of school leadership, and then they also have substantial subject indexes at the back for quick entry into particular topics of interest when you get to one of these books. So how do you find them? A couple of possibilities. One is to start in a desire to learn shell and to click on in the UNB libraries resources widget the subject and course guide and what this does for example in this case there is a reference sources tab and it provides hyperlinked access to what are considered in the context of a course or a subject key resources and so we can see in the case of the Blackwell Guide to Philosophy of Education or say the Sage Handbook of Leadership. These are hyperlinks that take you to electronic books. And we also have a link here to create a reference and the Oxford English Dictionary. This is by no means an exhaustive list though and I can't emphasize that enough and there are other places to find them. You can also go directly to the library website lib.unb.ca and what you could do is choose a topic of interest. We're always going to education, so why don't we go to, let's say, anthropology. And from that subject guide, it will list under e-reference materials a number of encyclopedias and sometimes handbooks, although that's less likely the case. And if you go to the detailed guide, then typically in the reference area, you might come across a few handbooks as well as encyclopedias of interest. However, as it says here in the area under reference sources to find more of these, you should probably try searching UNB WorldCat. 
And so WorldCat is the search available at lib.unb.ca by default, and it also appears in Subject Guides under the Find Books tab. So in this case, for example, if I wanted to look for handbooks on special education, which would require that I know how to spell special, and then add the word handbook as a keyword. And once I search here, from my result list, I can limit the format to ebook. And so, for example, we can see that some possible ebooks of interest start to appear. And so, here I could click on the view now. It's telling me that it's an EBSCO ebook. I click on view ebook, and it takes me in. Now what do you do when you're here in order to navigate? You have a couple of options, one of which is to view the book online. The other one is to download this ebook. And what this is going to require is an EBSCO account in this case and a piece of software called Adobe Digital Editions, which is freely downloadable. And this, my friends, is going to be the topic for next week's YouTube and with Mark. Until then.